सो हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम बैक टू द चैनल अगेन सो एज देर आर मेनी कमेंट्स इन डिफरेंट वीडियोज फॉर मेकिंग द बुक शेल्फ टूर एंड आई वॉज रियली लुकिंग फॉर एन मोमेंट टू मेक एंड सिंस आई गॉट टाइम दीज डेज बिकॉज आई आई एम ऑल्सो हैविंग माई दिवाली हॉलीडेज एंड सिंस दिवाइस दिवाली सफाई इज गोइंग ऑन थ्रू आउट द हाउस इट वॉज अ गुड अपॉर्चुनिटी नॉट ओनली जस्ट क्लीनिंग द बुक्स बट ऑल्सो मेकिंग अ बुक शेफ टूर वीडियो सो आई विल बी मेकिंग द बुक शेफ टूर वीडियो इन सेवन पार्ट्स बिकॉज शोइंग ऑल द बुक्स इन जस्ट वन वीडियो वोट बी फीजिबल सो कीप ट्यून टू सी माई ऑल द बुक शेफ टूर वीडियो सो लेट स्टार्ट विद पार्ट वन सो द फर्स्ट बुक इज हेयर दैट इज फैक्टफुलनेस बाय हैंड्स रॉजलिंग एंड विद ओला रॉजलिंग एंड एना रॉजलिंग विच इज एक्चुअली अ फैमिली so the book is also recommended by our former uh, president of united states that is barack obama and also recommended by bill gates and her former wife melinda gates i have made a detailed review on this book which shows how there are actually 10 reasons that we are wrong about the world and things are actually getting better in the in the whole world how the energy consumption is actually increasing people are tend to live longer these days compared to the ancient times how education level is go better how average life expectancy is also going going towards the positive sides so it's an amazing book which tells you about whole story of the world till 2019 because covid definitely has disrupted the graphs shown in the book but a amazing read which you must definitely give it a try i have made a separate video on this book do check it out so the second book is here that is stephen hawking's brief answers to big question so it's an amazing book i think i haven't i haven't made a separate video on the book but the book is actually the last book by stephen hawking and actually he died by writing the book only so it's an incomplete book which is later completed by his family and the trust of george john murray who actually published the book jm company in association with hatchet so this book actually gives the answer to these question which is written is there a god how did it world begin can we predict the future what's inside black hole and so many you know different amazing questions so stephen hawking gives answers to these books of course our dedicated chapters are there but also the answers to the question are given in a very concise way for example here so um, a definitely good book for if you want to know about science you know in a in a very easy manner simple questions if you are if you are definitely a stephen hawking fan then definitely go for it So the third book is here that is Elon Musk by Ashley Vance. So it's a biography, one of the first biography I have read, and an amazing book, even better than the Walter Isaacson's I must say. Though there are some uh, problem with the book as it's still it covers till 2016 only, but a uh, amazing book which shows the life of the world's richest man currently second. So the fourth book is here. that is wings of fire by apj abdul kalam so it's a biography autobiography actually written by late apj abdul kalam missile man of india it's about his journey a motivational book i would say which actually definitely is going to help every student and a must read for juveniles and teenagers so the fifth book is actually here that is The future Mutio Kaku's Future of Humanity: Try Terraforming Mars, Interstellar Travel, Immortality, and Our Destiny and Beyond Earth. And must buy book. It's the one of the highest rating I have given to any book. Nine point nine rating out of ten. The book tax talks about actually immortality, interstellar space travel, about different uh, initiatives around the world about NASA, SpaceX race to the Mars, and even uh, Moon. <coughs> How actually. Uh, Jeff Bezos and Elon Musk are uh, under rivalry uh, to go to the moon and Mars first. So the book talks about it. An amazing book, a must try, a futuristic book. If you are looking out to know, then I must recommend this to you. It's a 2018 book, but still relevant because it's uh, definitely written on the future. So the sixth book is here that is Indo-Nepal trade relations from 1846 to 1947. So book uh, extensively covers on the India-Indo-Nepal relations 
from this timeline to this night till our independence so the book justify how there is a relation as there is a say in hindi the relation between india and nepal is of about two things that is roti or beti so this book tries to justify it and also it talks about different um, facts that why nepal was actually never never colonized by the britishers of course there are many factors one of them is that uh, nepal was jo- of course geography and also it was poor and there are but there are also many facts related to it which definitely you must give it a try by reading it so the seventh book is here that is anarchy by william dalrymple the book i have of course have made a separate video specifically and an amazing book about the east india company uh, an amazing book it contains all about moguls uh, marathas tipu sultan nawab of bengal about everything about our medieval india and how actually britishers colonized the people and also led a you know totally spillage across the country must read so the eighth book is here that is the early india by romila thapar from origins to 1300 ad the book talk covers the ancient and the medieval early medieval india a good book on our history so the ninth book is here that is india that is bharat by j sai deepak on coloniality civilization and constitution so the book actually shows how india was colonized by the christian power what was the role of christianity in the world how it actually tried to destroy the polytheistic culture of europe and also tried to do this thing in india but of course it was unable to completely transform it but it was able to colonize the mind of indian people a must try a must read book definitely so so the 10th book is here that is the cosmic landscape string theory and the illusion of the intelligent design by leonard susskind who is actually father of holographic principle a must book come in, came in 2005 a re really good read if you know want to know about string theory so the 11th book is here that is the physics of the future by michio kaku the inventions that will transform our lives the book talks about of course it's a futuristic book and for those who don't know michio kaku he is actually popularizer of science and cosmology a great book on the future of nanotechnology future of wealth future of humanity in space about the terraforming and all uh, fancy stuff about black holes and all a great buy my one of my favorite and the early books which i have read so the 12th book is here that is sapiens a brief history of mankind by yuval noah harari the israeli author who is actually much revered for this book the book is actually much celebrated i also like the book the book is about the future of mankind how actually uh, you know agricultural agriculture was started and actually it early in early stage it harmed the humanity but slowly it took over the world and today agriculture is one of the basics of you know considered the basis of human civilization a good book to know about some stuff so the 13th book is here that is hidden horizon on i think the 10000 years of indian culture by david frawley who is also known by his indian name about which i am actually forgetting yeah his indian name is vamadev shastri so dr david frawley talks about how actually saraswati civilization was india's 10000 year old civilization even older than the indus indus civilization so it talks about that which is a, and also talks about how aryan migration theory which is even studies studied in the schools and college is actually flawed totally a flawed theory so it talks about the indian culture uh, many people criticizes as a right wing history hmm. so the 14th book is here that is Pakistan's nuclear bomb a story of defiance deterrence and deviance by Hasan Abbas so the book is actually a pro pakistan book but i definitely read to know about the pakistan side's uh, story of making the nuclear bomb it talks about how ak khan was actually father of pakistani bomb it's a hard cover book a beautiful book which you can definitely give it a try if you want to know about the india's role in pakistan's nuclear journey a must book read book So the fifteenth book is here. That is the Islamic connection, South Asia and the Gulf, by the Christopher Jeffrelot and Lawrence Lawyer, who actually edited the book, which is actually a group of 
different uh, articles so the book is talks about the is- islamic connections which are present in india about the pathani suit history about the different dawai dargahs are considered revered actually even by the hindus the connection between the two uh, religions hindu and hinduism and islam islam and how its connection is actually very sacred and friendly but how actually it is uh, you know uh, made derogatory by the you know terrorist uh, groups but actually it's a very sacred thing so the 16th and 17th book together actually is here that is actually a quartet that is uh, independent india before and after which consists of two books that is india struggle for independence and india since independence so both the books covers are modern history so uh, definitely a must read book if you are looking to know about uh, the modern period of india must buy so these were the 17 books which actually i tried to cover in the first part of bookshelf tour and definitely if you people if you people will definitely give it your love and likes so i will definitely make uh, more parts very soon so let's may i think let's make an if the video get i mean 100 views then i will definitely make part 2 and so on i can make till 10 parts if required so definitely <clears throat> you know uh, like the i hope you like the video so do check it out and let me know in the comments thank you and also one more thing i would like to add i like to thank my uh, younger sister which is here hello aditi everyone. who actually Thanks helped me to you know uh, make the video initially because to hold the camera since my tripod was actually not in optimum condition so i uh, had asked for the help and she actually helped me so thank you for that so as i told do check it the do check the video and if you like then let me know in the comments